First things first, we're going to go to File, New, and then we're going to choose to create a web-based icon. And in width, we're going to type 15 pixels, and in height, 15 pixels, and hit Create. Now we have a nice square artboard that's 15 by 15 pixels. The next thing we need to do is go to Edit, Preferences, and Guides and Grid. Here we can change the grid to be every pixel. So you want to put it on one pixel and one or zero subdivisions. You can also change the color of the grid so you can see it better. When we hit OK, we don't see anything. That's because we don't have the grid turned on. Let's go to View and Show Grid. Now we have an awesome grid-like feature. And um, if we have selected under View Snap to Grid, everything we draw should snap to it. Go to Stroke and make sure you use rounded edges. So that's the little stroke thing on the right here. And then make sure you set your stroke width to one point. And select Snap to Grid. Now it doesn't snap from the corners like I'm doing here. Um, it actually snaps from the center of the grid. So you'll see that if you start drawing, it'll automatically snap right to the middle of the grid. Here it can be useful to select the Direct Select tool and then you can move individual nodes if you click on them and drag them. You want to leave a one pixel buffer around your entire icon. So I always leave a one pixel buffer. I'm just doodling here. I don't even know what I'm drawing. Tic-tac-toe is a big thing in my house these days with two young kids. Notice that this, when I change the stroke thickness, it gets too close to the edge. So I'm moving it a little so that we have a one pixel buffer. So I'm just going to doodle. While I doodle, again, the key thing to remember is that uh, to set the grid, you go to Edit, Preferences, Guide, and Grids, and set it to one pixel. On default, I think it's set to 72 pixels. And then you go to Window, or sorry, View, Show Grid, View, Snap to Grid. Keep your icons simple. This is probably too complex, actually. Don't don't overemphasize the details, and voila. So let's export this thing. Let's go to File, Save As. We're not actually exporting it. We're going to save it as a native SVG file. SVG. I hit Save. You should have. I should have given it a different name there. So we're going to keep that pretty much default. We'll set um, image location to link, although we don't have any embedded images. And under more options, this is really important. Uncheck responsive. Get rid of the responsive um, check mark, and then we should be good. There are a couple of things I forgot to mention uh, previously when exporting SVG icons, so let's go over those now. It's really important. Mapbox can be kind of finicky about what type of SVG you're using. So first things first, let's go to Save As. And we'll give this a name, maybe Bowties2. As you can see, my symbols evolved. All right, so you always want to make sure that responsive isn't checked. But the other thing I forgot to mention is that you want to make sure that presentation attributes is selected. And that isn't by default. Otherwise, it won't work. All right, we'll hit OK, and that should do it. You should be all set now to include these in your uh, final product.